Come on, let me turn it up a little bit. hey youtube it's your girl tay here with another video this video is going to be for life path number two and so um yeah yesterday i did life path number one today i'm doing life path number two so if you are a life path number two this video is definitely for you there's definitely some information in here for you that you want to um that will help you and just empower you to be your best self okay so, all right, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So life path number two um, is ruled by the moon, okay? And if you guys right. know, so the moon rules our emotions and how we feel. So the moon is associated with feminine energy. Um, the moon is our inner child and inner mother, okay? It's responsible, um, it's receptive, it's reflective as well. The moon is all about emotions and love. How are we loving our the people in our lives? How our relationships, how we receive love, how we give love. That's what the moon is about. It's about our emotions and things like that. Okay. Characteristics of the moon um, or of life path number two. Characteristics of life path number two. Um, are kind, perceptive, emotional, and, and empath. So life pack number two people are empaths. They love to, um, yeah, they're a natural, they're a natural negotiator. They're highly, um, they have high negotiation skills. And so they are, um, they're great negotiators, okay? All right, so the personality traits of the life path number two, uh, most, pa most are patient. They're the most patient of all the numbers. Life path number two people are the most patient of all the numbers. Um, and they easily switch from, they can easily switch from laughing to crying. So it's not hard at all to, um, affect the mood of a life path number two person okay um again they're highly empathic um they are they have intuitive gifts uh, you you know life path number two people have the ability to feel other people's emotions even if they don't if the other person doesn't like speak it right if they don't acknowledge that they're feeling a type of way if you have a life pet number two, you understand and you feel that other person's emotions even without them saying anything. Because life path number two people are patient, caring, loving, they may attract a person who is, um, who like needs, like a person who needs to be fixed, a person who needs to be, you know, like, who holds trauma from the past, um, they may be drawn towards a life path number two person, okay? So life path number two attract people who are hurt, who um, have traumas and things like that. Power words for life path number two people are kind, inspiring, tactful. Um, you guys are compassionate. You guys are intuitive. Your intuitive abilities are through the roof. That's why you're... 
um, you are psychic, you can be psychic, right? If you really tap in um, to your higher self, then you can be psychic, okay? You have those abilities that you're naturally born with. You're very caring, you're very loving, you're a good listener, you're loyal, you're deserving, you're charming, you know, you're elegant, you like nice things, um, you're considerate, honest, and sincere. You're also faithful in your relationships and can be romantic. Um, again, because it's ruled by the moon, the moon deals with our emotions and how we're feeling okay all right so life path number two people you are here to learn and express the power of love yes you're here to learn and express the power of love um you're here to teach other people how love can really just um um the power of love is really really strong you know people do crazy things for love okay so <laughs> Yeah, um, you, their purpose is to do harmony, balance, cooperation, and diplomacy. You'll find success in careers that allow you to help others like mediation or teaching and counseling. Okay, you are creative and can apply your creative abilities to a career in design or arts. With negotiation skills, you'll do good in law or politics. Okay, those are good careers to have as a life path number two. Um, you know, you want to hone in on the, the skills that you already possess and make them and strengthen them. Okay, um, again, there are negative aspects to each um, life path. For the life path number two, you guys with your head high. Okay. So be more confident throughout your daily activities and things like that. Um, also, you don't want to allow people to walk over your heart and your love because you're so loving and giving. People may try to um, take advantage of that. And so you may notice that in your life you deal with anxiety or you may have issues with anxiety, depression, or um, I would say like um, gastrointestinal issues. Um, so definitely want to take care of your body, exercise, release some of that energy, um, especially when you deal with people who try to take advantage of you and try to um, kind of take your, your kindness for weakness, okay? All right, so if you notice the shape number two, it's curvy and compromising, right? The number two, it's curvy and compromising. Um, its shape shows that you will need to learn to take up for yourself. Okay. Famous people with this life path number are Angela Bassett, uh, Mariah Carey, and Jennifer Lopez. Okay. So if you just kind of look into the... Um, the celebrities or famous people with the life path number two you know that's kind of those qualities and their characteristics okay so the quote that i have for the life path number two or to listen to your heart it knows all things because it came from the soul of the world okay your quote for the life path number two, again, is to listen to your heart. It knows all things because it came from the soul of the world. Okay. I have a few affirmations as well for the life path number two. And so it says emotions. I am a human being that has emotions. Feeling is a part of life and negative emotions that I encounter are welcome. However, I will simply acknowledge them and let them pass. I would not hold on to these thoughts, but intentionally release them as they come. So yes, you are acknowledging your emotions in regards to negative emotions. 
you are acknowledging it but you're not holding on to it yes we all have good and bad emotions we all have our good days we all have our bad days but we if we hold on to that emotion then it in in internalize it that's when it becomes um not good right so we want to yes we have emotions but we want to release those emotions okay now so um it says the second affirmation i have is caring nature okay so I, it says i will always aim to be sympathetic empathetic compassionate and kind However, I will avoid expending my own mental health and happiness for the sake of others. My first priority is me. All right. So take care of yourself. Take care of your mental. Do not allow others to project negative emotions, and their negative thinking onto you. You protect your heart. You still be loving, be kind, be loyal, be generous, be compassionate, be empathetic empathic you know still be those things because you were born with that you were born, that's a gift okay so you can still be those things but don't let people take advantage of that okay now boundaries is the third affirmation it says boundaries healthy boundaries keep my energy safe and allow me to live as my truest self i deserve people in my life who love me and care about my limits and comforts so those who respect my boundaries will receive my time period if you are in a relationship with a friend a lover um family anything like that and they cannot respect your boundaries then you know what to do and they need to maneuver you know what to do they need to maneuver um you know just set those boundaries because you don't want to you don't want people to think that they can just run all over you and treat you and talk to you any kind of way. There's another quote that says, um, you teach people how to treat you, okay? You teach people how to treat you. If you don't like something um, or, you know, you don't like a, a certain situation or anything, you just set your boundaries and you express to other people what does not feel right for you okay and if they cannot respect it then life path number two you know what to do okay just period so thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel that is all i have for you today and until next time y'all stay tunnel vision all right